Hi and welcome to this video on oxidation states of transition metals. The transition metals are an important class of elements because they can have more than one oxidation state. This is because of their d electrons and they can lose a variable amount of d electrons when they react. Because they can form different oxidation states, this means they can have different numbers of ligands attached and they can have different colours. When we're calculating the oxidation state of a transition metal, there are a few rules that we need to follow. So the oxidation number of elements that are uncharged is always zero. The oxidation number for monatomic ions is the same as their charge. So for oxygen, it's two minus, for hydrogen, it's plus one, for fluorine, it's minus one, and so on. The sum of all oxidation numbers of all the atoms that are present has to be zero. Uh, however, if you're dealing with a polyatomic ion, it must add up to the overall charge. During oxidation, the oxidation state will increase and during reduction, it will decrease. So let's have a look at some examples. So here we have two polyatomic ions. So we've got sulfate and nitrate. To work out the oxidation state, we need to write out a small sum. So if we start with the overall charge, we have two minus. And this is equal to whatever the oxidation state happens to be on sulfur plus four times the oxidation state of oxygen, which is minus two. So we have minus two equals sulfur plus minus eight. So if we take the minus eight over to the side, we find that the oxidation state of sulfur is plus six. So this is just a really a little bit of algebra. If we do the same for nitrogen and nitrate, we have minus one equals the oxidation state of nitrate plus three times the oxidation state of oxygen, which is minus two. So we have minus one equals nitrogen plus minus six. If we take the minus six to the other side, we find that we'll have nitrogen with an oxidation state of plus five. If we start having a look now at some transition metal, complexes. So here we have uh, permanganate. So we have minus one equals the oxidation state of manganese plus four times minus two for oxygen. So we have minus one equals manganese minus eight. If we take the eight to the other side, we get manganese in an oxidation state of plus seven where it has lost all of its D-electrons. Let's have a look now at cobalt in an amine complex. So we have plus two equal to whatever the oxidation state of cobalt is, plus six times the oxidation state of the amine ligand. So the amine ligand is neutral. It has an oxidation state, it's zero. So cobalt is in a plus two oxidation state. We have a look at this complex here. We have no overall charge. We have two sodiums, that's plus two, plus whatever the oxidation state on the cobalt is, plus four times a minus one ligand. So we have plus two, plus the cobalt, minus four. So the cobalt is equal to an oxidation state of plus two. Same applies in this example here. So we have no overall charge. We have the nickel. We have the amines that we came across earlier. They have no charge, so we'll leave those. And then the nitrate here. So we've got two times negative one. So our nickel is also in a plus two oxidation state. Remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for update on updates on new videos. Thank you for watching.